Hello students, welcome back to our class. So, in this session we are going to discuss about what is the importance of sum to n terms of arithmetic progression. So, in the previous session we discussed about nth term of an arithmetic progression would be of the form p n plus q it means a linear expression like that what can you infer about sum to n terms of arithmetic progression. Hope you understand what is sum to n terms of arithmetic progression s n is equal to n by 2 times 2 a plus n minus 1 into d. We can write this as n by 2 into 2 a is n by 2 into 2 a plus n by 2 into n minus 1 into d. So, n by 2 into 2 a is going to be 2 to cancel that is going to be a n plus here n by 2 into n minus 1 into d n into n is equal to n square minus n into 1 equal to n into d by 2. So, we can write this as a n plus n square into d by 2 is d by 2 n square minus n into d by 2 is d by 2 into n. If you group them, then we get first d by 2 into n square because n square term is that. So, d by 2 into n square a n minus d by 2 n if you take one n common then it would be a minus d by 2 into n. This is what sum to n terms of an arithmetic progression. So, what can you say about sum to n terms of arithmetic progression? This is in which form? See something into n square plus something into n. n square term is there, n term is there. Can we call it as a quadratic expression, a second degree expression? Absolutely, you can call it as a quadratic expression or second degree expression, but ensure that there is no constant. But in second degree expressions or quadratic expressions, you will have a constant, right, which is in the form of a x square plus b x plus c should be there. But here, the value of c is going to be 0. So, that you can say sum to n terms of an arithmetic progression would be a second degree expression without a constant, second degree expression without a constant. So, you can write it as something into n square plus something into n. Right? Now, let us compare both of them, what are those somethings? When you compare both of them, like first compare n square terms. So, when you compare n square terms, then here n square term is d by 2 times n square and here n square term is p into n square. Right? So, d by 2 into n square equal to p into n square, it means d by 2 is equal to p. What is d here? d is the common difference. Therefore, from this you can say that d is equal to 2 into p. What is that p there? p is going to be coefficient of n square, then common difference would be twice the coefficient of n square. Common difference would be twice the coefficient of n square. Then I will give you one example and we will discuss about sum to n terms of arithmetic progression. See, sum to n terms of arithmetic progression is in the form of p n square plus q n. It means it is a second degree expression without a constant. So, s n is equal to 2 n square minus 5 n correct. Is it in second degree form without a constant? Absolutely. So, which is in the form of p n square plus q n. Then what is the value of p and what is the value of q there? p is equal to 2 and q is equal to what is the value of q there? q is equal to negative 5. What is the common difference of this arithmetic progression? Common difference is equal to d which is equal to twice the coefficient of n square, twice the coefficient of n square which is going to be twice the coefficient of n square p is equal to 2 right. So, 2 into 2 is equal to 4. So, this way easily you can figure out what is the common difference of the arithmetic progression when sum to n terms of arithmetic progression is given. This is not nth term, this is sum to n terms of arithmetic progression. Okay? So, let us discuss about a few set of examples on this sum to n terms of arithmetic progression, especially when this 2 n square minus 5 n kind of expressions are given. Okay? Right. 
So, the very first example is going to be check whether check whether s n is equal to n square minus 4 n n square minus 4 n forms an arithmetic progression check whether n square minus 4 n forms an arithmetic progression. Right? If so, find its common difference and uh, nth term. Okay, this is the problem given. First of all, check whether S n is equal to n square minus 4 n forms an arithmetic progression or not. So, to check whether it forms an arithmetic progression or not, you need to find what are the terms of this arithmetic progression when a n is given then we can easily form what are the terms of arithmetic progression by putting n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3 and so on. But here it is not a n, it is s n. So, to check whether it forms an arithmetic progression or not, first thing that you need to find out the three terms of this arithmetic progression by using s n. So, how is that possible to find out the three terms of arithmetic progression for that? What do you mean by sum to n terms? sum to n terms means when you have n terms and when you keep adding all these n terms then you get sum to n terms. It means first term plus second term plus third term plus so on plus n terms. This is what is called sum to n terms. Suppose if I have only three terms then I can write S 3 is equal to A 1 plus A 2 plus A 3. Suppose I have only three terms then I am adding all those three terms then I am getting sum to three terms. Suppose if I have only two terms then it would be a 1 plus a 2. Suppose if I have only one term then s 1 is equal to a 1 right. Now, I got an idea to get what is first term. Okay? So, since the value of s n is going to be n square minus 4 n when I substitute n is equal to 1, then I will get s 1. s 1 is equal to 1 square minus 4 into 1. So, 1 minus 4, what is 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 3. According to the discussion, s 1 is equal to a 1, right? Therefore, a 1 is equal to negative 3. I got what is the first term. Now, I need to get what is the second term as well as what is the third term also. So, to get second term, I will go for this what is that s 2 is equal to a 1 plus a 2 and s 2 is equal to a 1 plus a 2. Again s 2 means substitute 2 in the place of a sorry 2 in the place of n 2 square minus 4 into 2 2 square minus 4 into 2 is equal to a 1 plus a 2 a 1 is equal to minus 3 plus a 2 I do not know. So, a 2 is a 2 only. 2 square is equal to 4 minus 4 2s are 8 minus 3 would be plus 3 is equal to a 2 correct. So, 4 minus 8 is equal to otherwise 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 7 minus 8 is equal to minus 1. Therefore, I would say that second term is equal to minus 1 correct. So, I got first term and second term, but I need third term also to check whether it forms an arithmetic progression or not then I will go for this. So, can I write this s 3 as s 3 is equal to a 1 plus a 2 is equal to can I write it as s 2 plus a 3 or else you can directly because already the values of a 1, a 2, a 3 are all there. So, that is why you can substitute them. Okay? So, s 3 is equal to a 1 plus a 2 plus a 3 a 1 plus a 2 plus a 3. So, s 3 means substitute 3 in the place of n. So, it would be 3 square minus 4 into 3 is equal to a 1 plus a 2 a 1 is equal to what is a 1 a 1 equal to minus 3 plus a 2 a 2 is equal to minus 1 plus a 3 that is what we are finding 3 square equal to 9 minus 4 2s are 8 minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4. So, plus 4 is equal to a 3 see here 9 minus 8 equal to 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 therefore, the value of a 3 is equal to 5. After finding a 1, a 2, a 3 
let me check whether the common difference is same or not. Okay. First, I will find a 2 minus a 1, a 2 is equal to minus 1 minus a 1 is equal to minus 3. So, minus 3, what is this value is going to be minus 1 plus, so because minus of minus plus 3, what is minus 1 plus 3 equal to 2. So, the value of a 2 minus a 1 equal to 2, fine, I will find what is a 3 minus a 2. So, a 3 minus a 2 is going to be a 3 is 5 minus a 2, a 2 is equal to 1, right. So, here did I find the values of a 1, a 2, a 3, correct. So, a 1 is equal to minus 3, a 3 minus a 2. So, a 3 minus a 2 is minus of minus 1 is going to be plus 1, 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. So, getting different answer, a 2 minus a 1 is minus 1 plus 3 is equal to 2. So, let me just check once again. S n is equal to n square minus 4 n, n square minus 4 n when you put n is equal to 1 then I will get 1 square minus 4 into 1 is equal to 1 minus 4 equal to minus 3 and S 2 is equal to a 1 plus a 2 when I put 2 here 2 square minus 4 into 2 is equal to minus 3 plus a 2, 4 minus 4 2s are 8 plus 3. So, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 minus 8 equal to minus 1, so a 2 is equal to minus 1 s 3 is equal to a 1 plus a 2 plus a 3, s 3 means 3 square minus 4 into 3, 3 square minus 4 3s are 12, yes I did a small uh, error here, that error is going to be 4 into 3 is equal to 12, right. So, here it is 12, then when I substitute 12 over there, then what am I going to get here, I am going to get 9 minus 12 plus 4, so 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. 13 minus 12 is equal to 1, right? That is the value of a 3. Now, a 3 minus a 2, a 3 is equal to 1 minus a 2 is going to be minus 1. So, 1 minus of minus 1 is equal to 1 plus 1, that is 2. Therefore, a 2 minus a 1 is 2 and a 3 minus a 2 is also equal to 2. So, what can you say about this? Therefore, a 2 minus a 1 is same as a 3 minus a 2. It means this S n is equal to n square minus 4 n forms an arithmetic progression. Since it forms an arithmetic progression, we can find what is the common difference as well as nth term of arithmetic progression also. See what is the common difference, we can easily identify what is the common difference here 2 and 2, it means 2 is the common difference. In fact, without doing all these things, we could answer this problem easily as like the concept we discussed earlier, that is what nth term sum to n terms of an arithmetic progression would be second degree expression without a constant, this is a second degree expression without a constant. And what is common difference, common difference would be the coefficient of n twice the coefficient of n square, coefficient of n square is equal to 1 here. So, twice the coefficient of n square means 2 times 1, 2 times 1 is equal to 2, 2 is the common difference. So, with the help of this, you can easily find out what is the nth term of arithmetic progression by taking a as well as common difference. Therefore, nth term is going to be a plus n minus 1 into d, correct. a is equal to a 1, what is a 1 here, a 1 we got it as minus 3 plus n minus 1 into common difference is going to be 2. So, when you uh, simplify this minus 3 plus 2 into n is equal to 2 n minus 2. So, 2 n minus 3 minus 2 is equal to 2 n minus 5. So, this would be the nth term of arithmetic progression. Understand? This is what the importance of sum to n terms of an arithmetic progression. So, it is very easy and very important in our examination point of view as well as in competitive examinations also. When you are given sum to n terms, the very first thing is you need to check whether it forms an arithmetic progression or not. Every S n may not be the S n of arithmetic progression. Hope you understand. Every S n may not be the S n of A p or every T n or every A n is may not be the nth term of arithmetic progression. So, sum to n terms of arithmetic progression will always be a second degree expression without a constant. And when it is an arithmetic progression, it is sum to n terms of an arithmetic progression, then the common difference would be calculated easily 
just by taking the coefficient of n square multiplied by 2. So, twice the coefficient of n square would be the common difference when sum to n terms of an arithmetic progression is given and when nth term of arithmetic progression is given then you can say that common difference would be the coefficient of n and it is a linear expression would be the nth term of arithmetic progression. So, hope you understand. Thank you.